Salamancer. You are watching Sal TV, and we are just going to get right into the action right now with Les Platones versus Skull Cluster. Game two. I want to see which team can win this one because, uh, of course, you are going to hear spoilers in just a second. The first game uh, did go to Les Platones. 2-0, so of course, uh, do watch that game. It was a good one, but we're going to have to see if Skull Cluster can bring it back. Watching the mid-fight here on Gully Watch right now, and already Skull Cluster's taking a huge amount of damage. Oh, no! Losing this mid-fight very, very quickly. They all got kind of stacked up into this little uh, choke point area and spammed to death. However, they did get a lot of kills. Polaco down right now, and Screwed trying to come around behind, get some kills. He ends up getting taken down by Michael, though. Uh, Tovarocho here. Oh, no! Taking some damage, getting hit by a rocket. So he is down for the count. And God, who's going to win this mid-fight here? It looks like the, the point has been captured by Lace Botonis right now. Um, but they do have a scout trying to recapture it. And Complete taking some sticky damage himself here. I don't know what is happening right now. <laughs> Skull Cluster is just not giving up this mid-fight. Beck there somehow managed to uh, survive those sticky, or those uh, pills, I mean. But look, the point is getting recaptured in favor of the red team right now. They've got a big uber advantage. And they're, they're just non-stop pushing here. Doesn't even take their entire team to do it. They knew that blue team was down quite a bit. Oh, no. Michael coming in trying to kill the uh, scout, though. And it looks like he ends up going down to a rocket from Pena. But uh, Skull Cluster here did manage to capture middle point after they lost it there on that mid fight and almost lost all of their players. So I am very surprised by that. But yeah, here goes a big Uber advantage. They have it right now. They're ready to push in. And they Uber right over the sticky trap here. Uh, not getting quite enough damage done just yet, but they are going straight for that medic. And oh, there he goes. SKC with some huge kills here so far. Spartan now goes down on the top. But I think that Mizzer and the rest of his team should be able to have this. Unless, though, uh, Beck over here and Polaco now both jumping in after Mizzer. I think Mizzer may end up going down. Oh, he does. That's a big deal there. Uh, and SKC now down to just H+. He is getting surrounded. So there he goes. That was a complete wipe there on the second point. Uh, Les Watone is turning it around and saying, okay, guys, come on. Let's just let's take a deep breath here. Stop pushing in one at a time. And that's exactly what they did. They managed to get a big surround. Uh, now they're pushing right back out onto mid. Complete there. Uh, trying to get a kill. But Godman goes down to Algo and Screwed. Dealing a lot of damage now. Beck getting some pressure from a scout here, but he's managed to hit a couple of rockets, landed on on Screwed. Can he? Oh no! Gets sticky to death. So man, there's just action all over the place here. This is not what I am used to. Normally, you'll see these teams just hanging out on the second point and the mid, and like waiting until one kind of pushes in and makes a mistake. But no, both teams here are just being hyper aggressive, pushing it on top of each other with two soldiers here for red team right now, and they look like they want to get out there and stop the capture. Um, Scout gets popped up in the air there, finished off by H plus as well. But he gets taken down by Godman on these demo man, and wow, I don't even know what is happening anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, Polaco trying to get some damage dealt, and it looks like SKC has once again. And lost most of their players here. I wonder if they're going to try and bomb in on that medic once again. I uh, know it looks like Spartan tries just trying to defend his medic at the moment. That's probably a very wise idea. Big pipe there connects to Michael's face, and pipes to the face, um, even in real life, they don't feel very good. So, uh, you know, obviously in TF2, they've, they've tried to model it after real life as, as much as possible. It's a very realistic game, of course, and thus they made pipes to the face kill you. Uh, of course, respawning, just like in real life as well. But we, we'll go over that in a minute here because both of the Ubers have been popped and looks like Blues is holding on to it just for a little bit longer. They did manage to hold it, but they are getting surrounded right now. Les Botones here uh, has a scout on their medic at the moment. He's taking a lot of damage. Godman now goes down as well. Michael over on the flanks here trying to stop this. Um, and looks like they are going to manage to get the second point. Oh, Michael with the big medic kill there. Pistols him down. Did not have any ammo left on that primary weapon, but it didn't matter. He just walked right up to him with a pistol. And now with a 50% uber advantage and a, a three at least player advantage against red, looks like NWL is just pushing straight into the point right now. And they've got complete already standing on it. He's putting down some capture time. Pena trying to stop this from beneath the point. But Beck now standing there as well. Oh, it's just the medic left here and a soldier. And that is not going to be enough. It is one point right now in favor of Team Les Watones NWL showing us some very strong play on Gully Wash. But these guys have gone crazy. Both teams crazy at these mid-fights so far. I am very, very impressed by just how aggressive they've been. I gotta say, like, uh, if these teams play together a little bit longer, maybe if they, they watch some STV demos from uh, from some of the European scene, there's a little bit of a takeaway to take from those, especially for when you're trying to push through, like, uh, second point, whatever, is, is maybe they should be holding those chokes just a little bit more than they are, but nonetheless, looks like SKC, with the initial uh, aggression here as one mid-fight, um, can they hold on to it, though, is the question, because both these teams have just been uh, po poking in all over the place, and, and no, the Skull Cluster may be able to bring this back around. They are pushing 
immediately off this. They don't have an Uber quite yet, but they're going to have it very, very soon. Uh, there is a sticky trap hanging around there, or at least a little bit of a carpet. It does kind of pop somebody in the air. Screwed gets taken down by those stickies. Uh, now, though, here comes the push from Red. They've got the Uber ready to go. They've taken down complete, but oh, no, more rockets coming down, and they knock out H plus right away. Um, counter Uber from Red, and looks or from Blue, I mean, it looks like Red can't find anybody to hit right now. Oh, no, Skull Cluster's meta getting caught out there by Beck. Beck gets the kill, and let's just try and find that Beck cam, because he may not be done yet. No, he's fa falling back, trying to find uh, the rest of his team. But there you go, only two left alive right now. One of them is a sniper. That's never fun to push into, but if you can kind of jump away from his uh, sniping, it should be should be just fine and always getting caught out there. Takes a lot of damage, down to 26 health, but he gets around that corner, so they are falling back through the choke like, like the pros. And of course, these guys are the pros in Brazil. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I need you guys to pronounce or, or to, uh, I'm sorry, to translate that last one there from Spartan. <laughs> I think we all know what he was saying. Any language, uh, that, that that particular word seems to translate pretty well. Um, but right now, it looks like uh, Team Skull Cluster is back up to their second point once again. Just trying to knock out some stickies over here so they can get some uh, movement room over on the flanks. And big uber advantage coming in for Blue right now. So it looks like they want to push in with it. They're going to push uh, Polacco through the flanks while they have Godman and uh, Beck, the, the two pockets for the core here, push through main here they go with the the uber coming out right now but look at red playing like, like like a pro team here dropping back it's just that actually they didn't drop back far enough and huge damage there they taught knock out miser with godman so huge jump and huge huge uh, sticky pick to pop him up into the air can he stop this soldier though dealing great damage uh to the medic behind, but no, Tabaracho is just fine, and with two players left up, both of them with extremely low health, one of them getting taken down by Godman right now, <laughs> now he's spawn camping, that is no good for uh, Team Red here, so it looks like this may be the end of this round, I don't know what Red can do, Skull Cluster trying their best to defend, but big air pipes here, Godman is just going huge right now, with a kill there on Screwed as well, and there you go, that is the cap on the uh, second round here of Gully Wash, 2-0 for Lace Watones right now. Very strong showing from them here in the South American ESL Finals. Godman now pushing out. Uh, we're going to see his rollout here. It's uh, it's not quite the same rollout I've seen. Sometimes you'll see a demo man put a sticky through there and jump kind of through the interior, but he's keeping 175 health, so that's always important to have coming into these mid-fights. And where's your enemy demo man? He took the left-hand side rollout, so he's taking a more passive approach. But actually, when I say passive, I mean aggressive, because look, he's getting right around behind the enemy. I don't even think they've spotted him yet there. Uh, Skull Cluster trying to come with a big mid-fight win once again. Oh, good air shot there by Pena. Didn't manage to finish off the soldier, though, and that means that Polacco, uh, even though he took a lot of damage, is going to be just fine getting healed up right now by, uh, looks like he actually found a health kit. So Spartan just setting up a sticky trap. He wants to kind of bait enemies to run into him, maybe find a scout or something. No, now he has decided to uh, sticky jump and see if he can't kill the medic, but great dodging by Tavaracho, not taking any damage from that at all. And now Skull Clusters have lost once again their, uh, their mid-fight and lost their second point. They don't have a medic, they don't have a demo. What can they do right now? Their medic just came up, but it's 100% uber advantage for Team NWL, a.k.a. Les Watones. And they are pushing in right now with the Uber. Here they go, trying to knock that heavy down. They've got to focus him as quickly as possible, and that's exactly what they're doing. There goes the medic as well. Godman with a good kill on the medic. Now piping uh, H-plus in the face and taking that health. So, wow, this this game might be over pretty quickly if it continues at this rate. Uh, NWL showing an extremely strong game so far here on uh, on CP Pro Gully Wash. Of course, no water underneath that point. Makes it a pro map. Uh, on the on the improved versions, there's water underneath that last point, but hey, um, that's not as fun to play with, so they decided to change it around for the pro version. Big sticky jump here from Skull Clusters, and can they win this mid-fight here? No, looks like Pena is the first to go down. Uh, NWL, though, from Beck. Beck is dealing some crazy damage here, does manage to kill a soldier there, and now uh, Red Medic being chased down, Spartan trying to get some damage, but uh, Mizzer is probably going to be caught out here, needs to pull out those needles just a little bit earlier, should not have gone for that health kit, in fact he should have just dropped all the way towards last with the needles hanging, hanging out behind him, but that's what you're going to get sometimes, so it looks like their Medic is down once again, and Lace Watones with 100% uber advantage once again once again wow uh, so Polacco actually getting knocked out there by Pena that's gonna slow him down just a little bit but probably not a heck of a lot they're still capping second right now um, Lace Watones wants to push in here and make this 4-0 I'm sorry, make, yeah, it's, it's already 3-0 right now, guys. This has been one of the fastest Gully Wash games I think I've ever seen. But 3-0, they want to make it 4-0. And looks like there's a sniper up right now, but it's not even going to matter. Um, and in fact, the Uber's already coming here by blue. They have managed to knock down H+. They're getting on that point once again. Sticky's coming in, and oh! Yeah, it looks like nothing going to happen there. So, Lace Latone is bringing it up to 4-0, guys. Um, and we're going to have to see just whether Skull Cluster can bring it back 
and uh, bring us to a third map because right now it's looking like the stronger team here is Les Watones for sure. Both these teams playing very well though and I love seeing this happen here in the South American competitive scene for TF2. I want to get a lot more of these guys games casted because I know there are some good games out there in the South American scene. I just don't have any contacts. That's my problem. I don't have anybody to ask. I'm like, hey, where's the SCV demos? And nobody knows. Um, but it looks like Skull Cluster's taking a lot of damage but they've gotten two kills right now. Soldier and a scout down for blue but Beck going huge here knocking down the demo man and it looks like he's not done yet. No, he finally gets taken out by H+. So, a big mid fight win here for SKC, but this scout is just being such a pest. There they go. They finally managed to knock him out. They win the mid fight. They're going to win mid. But now, uh, Skull Cluster here is going to have some trouble because their medic is down, so they don't have a big uber advantage. Um, we do have both of those guys just hanging out there and capping that point. It's finally been capped. It looks like Blue wants to make a big play for second, but SKC already out here with uh, Algo capturing the point and uh, playing screen for his team. Oh, is that a sniper upstairs that I see? Yes, it is. Trying to stop the capture, and it looks like they have so far... Um, Let's see, H plus pushing out with his medic. The core is out right now. Do they have an Uber? No, nothing anywhere near an Uber. And there goes Mizzer, but Tavaracho is down as well. Which team is going to win this? It looks like blue team has four up right now, but there you go. H plus getting some big kills. SMG coming in after him, but he grabs a health kit on the inside here and is just trying to keep his enemies from uh, from being able to push back out as long as possible. Gets the kill on Polaco, the sniper. So now, oh, uh oh, um, we've got some, some pipes there on the ground, and H plus doing a very good job of dodging those. So it looks like Skull Cluster may actually be able to pull this back out. H plus getting on the point right now, trying to capture second. So I am going to be interested to see whether they can actually do it. It looks like maybe they can. They've got, yep, there they go. Second point um, is captured. Spartan trying to put some stickies there just to stop anybody from pushing out that doorway. Which way is Blue Team going to push in, though? This is going to be a big deal. If they don't go upstairs, they can actually get uh, hit by sticky traps quite a bit. Spartan coming around right now, and oh, gets taken down by Complete. Complete going huge on the scout right now. I just want to check these scores here after Complete is done, but Complete is not done yet. Um, no, he's finally been killed, but Mizzer goes down there, and now Polaco coming in, trying to get some big damage. No, it looks like... Oh, no! What? That was a huge air pipe there by Godman. This guy is so awesome. Oh, my gosh. What a crazy demo man that NWL has on their team. Let's just check these scores here, though. Yeah, look at this. I was going to say, Complete is such a crazy scout. He's actually outscoring his medic right now for the blue team. So he is the top fragger at the moment on Lace Watones. And we're going to have to find his cam again. But looks like we got some big attacks coming in from SKC around the flanks. So let's just see here. Uh, complete, where did you go? Where did you go, my friend? You are right here. And it looks like he wants to push in, attack. Oh, can he get any sort of damage in right now? He's kind of waiting for the Uber. Uh, he's going to come in and try to finish off once that flank is done. Oh, great jump there by him, too. So he is just a beastly scout. It's like this guy has practiced. TF2 quite a bit, uh, and it looks like most of the Uber finished off the enemy team, so Complete just helping capture at the moment, getting those capture points, and going to try and stay above his medic, but no, actually, now Tavaracho is pulled out ahead by one point here, and look at the dominations, they kind of tell the story, uh, only one domination there for red team, whereas practically everybody on blue uh, has a domination somewhere. Complete now, oh no! pushing in through uh, this middle point, and now that the medic has been popped out once again there for blue team, they're going to have a big uber advantage for blue, pushing into the last point. This could be the very last round, guys. It looked like SKC had a bit of a strong push. Oh, they're actually doing some good job on defense here. Pena getting some big kills. Um, can he stay alive? Yes, he can. Looks like he's really good at fighting on the interior here. So Pena kills complete now, and trying to stop this demo man from pushing in. Looks like, oh, wants to get out there and pressure him even more. Um, no, it looks like I was going to say that the blue team probably had it right in the bag right then. They do have 100% uber advantage but Pena is old. This is interesting. Can he get the flank here? I think he's been spotted out, though, so no, actually, he cannot. Yeah, it looks like that Dimman found him. So Pena was trying to drop down on top of the enemy medic. I'm sorry, make him forced to pop, and instead... Pena is, uh, is now forced back into his lobby. Oh, finds a heavy. This could be a big deal. That He does not want to take all the damage from that, and he ends up getting found by Beck here from behind. So not only do they have the uber advantage, but now blue team also has a player advantage. They are pushing in on this. Beck getting some big kills, or at least some big damage so far. An air shot there on Spartan. Complete finishes him off, though. No, oh, Beck didn't even get the assist for that. Kind of lame. Good way to hold the Uber there, though, for Red Team, and they've held off the point just for now. Michael and Polacco, the only ones left up. Michael trying to jump around, but he is not going to get any damage down, and it looks like Skull Cluster held off so far. They're going to push back out onto second. Polacco, though, with some interesting positioning here, and he's going to wait for Skull Clusters to push. Uh, is he going to go try to bomb the medic? Is he going to go for a bat cap? We will have to see. It looks like he just wants to go for a bomb here, and coming in right now, going straight for the medic, but he's getting uh, shotgunned out of the air. Did not manage to kill anybody, but Godman came in there and helped finish off Screwed. So actually, oh, look at this complete now on the spy. Uh, is he going to decloak yet? No, not yet. Actually, it looks like he's still behind his own team here on 
Where is Red Team right now? Looks like they're all dead, actually, so uh, nothing for him to even kill at the moment. Wow, guys, and Algo is now running around as the heavy. He it looks like they want to set up their last point defense once again. They know that they're going to have an uber disadvantage here. They know that the enemy is capturing uh, second. There's nothing they can do about it. So they are setting up the very standard heavy on top of the little glass wall here. I mean, doesn't it look like he should just kind of break that? It'll at least cause a little bit of bowing, but no, he is not heavy enough to do it at all. So um, I guess good, good construction engineering work there from whoever made this map. Skull Clusters, though, sitting around, and oh, a big pick there from Complete, taking out the Heavy, and that means that Blue Team is going to want to push in right now. Here comes the Uber immediately. They're pushing the enemy medic back into spawn. There is, of course, a big opportunity to just get on that capture point. There's not even a Sticky Trap, as far as I can tell. Very, very close to capturing right now, but look at this Red Team once again with a very strong defense. They've managed to hold on to it. Um, who was that standing up on top of the point, though? He's getting in there, and he's almost getting the cap. No, getting popped up into the air. Polacco trying to get a back cap once again. Didn't quite manage to do it. Godman now trying to stop the second cap and how long is left on this map it's about 15 minutes anything can happen here guys Godman with a good kill on that scout though he did stop the capture just for a moment um, NWL here aka Lispotone is pushing into the skull cluster once again they are going to try and get uh, get second point defended and I think they'll have it where is the medic right now? Are they actually already pushing into last? Yes, they are. Just trying to deal some damage with a non-Uber push here, but they're not going to be able to get in with just one soldier against, like, a heavy and the rest of the team. Actually, the heavy goes down once again, this time, I think, to a scout, and Beck is pushing in here, trying to deal some damage himself. Oh, looks like he's going to catch this demo man, but it's anybody's game right now. Oh, my gosh. Um, blue, it's, it's three on two right now. Soldier goes down. It's just screwed. Left alive. He's trying to knock down the medic, but he's actually got to go for the fragging classes here. Beck taking a lot of damage, and it looks like this should be the game, guys. There you go. That was Lacewatonis winning 5-0 against Skull Cluster. This has been South American TF2 with uh, Salamancer. And, of course, if you like seeing more competitive uh, TF2, check out YouTube.com slash FatMop, F-A-T-M-O-P. This has been Salamancer, and I'm going to sign out.